during term two, Mary recorded the absences of a class of 15 boys and nine girls. So you got 15 boys and nine girls each day of the school week. She noticed that attendance varied for different days of the week. Her class had maths every day, the nine weeks in term two. So let's write the data that you got. You got 15 boys and uh, nine girls. That means you've got 24 students. Okay, so you've got 24 students. Uh, you've got nine weeks. You've got nine weeks and nine weeks has five day each. Each week, school week is of five days. Okay. Uh, so this is the absence of Monday to Friday. Okay. So probably she had maths in AM and in Monday and Tuesday in the morning and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, she had in PM. So this is the record that she kept. So let's add these numbers up. So if you add these numbers up, I've already done this. This would be 111. And if you add these numbers, this would be 62. So if you add this way, this is 48. Uh, this is 18 plus 8 is 26. This is 23. This is 21. And this is 55. And if you add both ways, this way uh, horizontal, horizontal or vertical, it will be 173 days. 173 absences. This is the total of the absences of the whole uh, term. Now, what's the probability, what is the probability that a student was absent on Monday? So, our focus is Monday. So, there are how many Mondays? Okay, total Mondays. Total Mondays is nine. Okay, so let's talk about total absences on Monday. Total absences on Monday. So, there are how many students? So, you can say there are 24 students. Okay, and if the total absences that's possible is you've got 24 students and you've got nine Mondays. So on Monday is the maximum or the total absences that is possible. Imagine that all of them are absent. All the 24 students are absent. You've got nine Mondays. So 24 times nine is 216. And what's the actual absences on Monday? This is the actual absence on Monday. So the probability of absence, okay, so let me only write in short, probability of absence on, on a Monday. Actual absence is 48, and there are 216 possible absences. So this is your final answer. You can write this as a decimal or simplify this. So let's write this as a decimal which is 48 divided by 216. Let's write this as a decimal, which is 0 0.2 recurring. Okay, so your, this is 0 0.2 recurring is your probability. So the probability that a student is absent on Monday is 48 out of 216 which is point to recurring. Okay, the next question is interesting. What's the relative risk of boys, sorry, relative, relative risk of absence of boys compared to girls in this class during the term, uh, during the term two? Okay, so this was on Monday. Okay, so let's talk about the total absence of boys on total Let's first talk about total absence of boys in term two, of boys in term two. So term two, there are how many boys? There are 15 boys. So 15 boys and there are nine, nine weeks and each week has five days. So the total absence of boys, if all the boys are absent, would be 15 times 9 times. 15 is the boys, 9 week, 
and each week has five days. This would be 675 absences. The total possible absences for boys in the term would be 675. Now, what is the total absence of girls in term two? In term two. In term two would be there are nine girls and there are nine terms and each term, sorry, nine weeks. There are nine girls, nine week, and each week has five days. So if you multiply this three, this would be 405. So the total absence of girls in term two can be 405. So the question is, you want to find the relative risk. So let's first find the probability of girl, of boy being absent. The probability of boy being absent would be how much? What's the total absence of boys? The total absence of boys is 111. And the total absence in boys in term two is 675. So the probability that a boy would be absent in term two would be 111 out of 675. Okay, same way, the probability of a girl being absent in term two being absent what's the uh, what's the actual absence you've got 62 absence out of the total absences that is possible in girls is 405 so now you want to find the relative risk okay so now the question is what is the relative risk of boys to girls relative risk of absence relative risk of absence for boys to girls. So let's understand boys to girls. So yeah, you're comparing from boys to girls, so let me write, make up a table. I can give you directly the formula, but you'll not understand what. So this is a boys, and this is girls. This is boys, let me make two tables, boys and girls. So we are saying, if the probability, the probability of boys being absent is 111, is 111, then the probability of boys is 111 out of 675. The probability of girls being absent is 62 out of 405. So the relative risk is basically what is the app, what is the risk of absence out of one? So the question is if it is one, if the probability, if, uh, <coughs> okay, so I should have gone the other way around. So, so here the question is, if the relative risk of girl is one, if the relative risk of girl is one, what's the risk of boy being absent? <coughs> so basically you have to, so here the ratio of this, so I can say, I'll do the working here. So you can say 111 divided by 675. The ratio of this over whatever that number is, this is the relative risk, is equal to 62 over 405 over 1. So if you think about this, what we are, we are asking the question is, if the risk of girl absence is 1, what is the risk of boy being absent? So you have to just divide this by this. So you can say your relative risk, I'll write RR, of boys to girls. This is a different way of remembering is you have to just divide the probability of boys, which is 675, divided by the probability of girls, which is 62 over 405. Basically, if you think about this, if you cross multiply, this goes up and this comes down. And that's what the relative risk is. So let's get the calculator out. So this would be, I will put this in the bracket like this. So this is 111 divided by 675 divided by 62 divided by 405. And the answer is 1.07. So the relative risk 
the relative risk of absence of boys and compared with boys to girls is 1.07 okay so in other words you can say there is 107 percentage in terms of percentage there is there's seven percent more chance of uh, girls of boys being absent than boys